Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 30 here on my uh, hip hop shelf by shelf video series. And yeah, so now we are done with the A to Z titles. We are moving into the soundtracks and compilations. So I'm going to split this part up into two because there's too much for one video. So it's going to be like kind of two shorter videos, maybe just depending on how much I talk about the titles. But without further ado, let's get right into this. Uh, starting with uh, the 2K6, the tracks, uh, the video game soundtrack. Um, so you can see the lineup of artists on here. RJD2, Lyrics Born, Red Man, Black Alicious, you know, Ghostface, the list goes on. Um, AC Alone on here. This was really good, actually. This was not a bad compilation album for a video game. Pretty cool stuff. And then the following year, Dan the Automator was called upon to produce um, tracks for the entire soundtrack for 2K7. Um, I thought this was really interesting that Dan the Automator actually did this because he was kind of vacant from the hip-hop scene for a while there. It seemed like he wasn't really doing a whole lot, and all of a sudden he just reappeared with, you know, doing production for a whole soundtrack, so... That's what you got on there. This one I remember not being as good. I haven't listened to this in a long time, but of course you got some Tribe Lyrics to Go remix on there, which I always like that track. Um, that remix is actually really cool on here. Um, but yeah, good stuff. So yeah, Dan the Automator, production. Yeah. And then we got some Above the Rim, Love Above the Rim. Uh, great Tupac performance in this one. Here's what's on the album for the people that don't know what's on here um, of course this is the CD soundtrack and the tape version actually has three bonus tracks which is like um, uh, I can't remember the exact songs that are on here um, Pain by Tupac there's a Tretch and Pac song on here and there's another one too I can't quite remember I do actually I don't even own the tape anymore so I'm totally lying about that but there's three bonus tracks on the tape and they used to do that back in the day is put you know extra songs on cassettes and you know and not have them on CDs and uh, fucking annoying but above the rim really cool stuff of course this has got regulate on there warren g nate dog rest in peace and we got afro samurai the soundtrack the rizza presents um this is really actually pretty cool listen man it's not like the greatest stuff in the world but uh i don't know man i, I thought this was actually pretty cool man afro samurai not bad Here's a soundtrack that I really never hear people talk about. America's Dying Slowly. Um, this one was actually pretty cool. As you can see, the lineup of artists on here. You got stuff from Bismarck, Heed, Chub Rock, and Prince Paul. Fucking amazing. That is so awesome. Uh, the Urn with uh, Pete Rock and, and the Lost Boys, of course, from the Lost Boys album too. But look at the lineup here, man. OC and Buckwild. Domino. What? Mac Mall. It's crazy. Mob Deep. Eight ball and MJG Coolio, I break some off. <laughs> uh, organized confusion. Fucking lot of dope artists, man. I, this came out in what year did this come out in? Uh, so it's like an AIDS benefit type album. Um, I want to say that it was 1996. That's what that was. Okay, cool. Uh, Anacon music for the advance of hip hop. Um, I haven't listened to this in a long time. I remember not really caring for this too much though. A lot of soul stuff on here. Um, slug idea. Rest in peace idea. Um, yeah, Anacon. Ah, never been okay. Back in the day, compilation of, you know, some of our old school favorites. You guys can see what's on there. I'm not going to name everything off, but have a quick look right there. Um, yes, Planet Rock, Africa Bambata. Fucking love Planet Rock. It's so good. Freaks come on at night. I'm such a big Houdini fan. I love Houdini. Um, I've got Back in the Day Volume 2 sitting over here. I lost my case. This is another one of like a dozen albums in my collection I've lost cases for over the years. But uh, that is the actual CD. So can't quite remember what was on it. But doesn't really matter. Uh, Bad Boys soundtrack. Um, you know, I remember picking this up because... Uh, the, um, what was the Eni Kamozi song on here? It was fucking dope, man. Uh, call the police, man. Eni Kamozi. Yeah. <laughs> like, here comes the art still. Yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna sing that shit, but... Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about here. The B-side with the, the Brat and Tori's B.I.G. That was a good song. But, um, yeah, kind of an oddball soundtrack. Uh, here's one that's still sealed, but I do actually have this on a digital version, too. Beats and Bullets. Um, you can see what's on there. Some really cool instrumentals and stuff on here. Keo Itachi on here, it's pretty cool. I remember I used a track on off this one time on a video and I got flagged. That was stupid of me, I guess, but yeah. Anyways, I think it was like, I don't know who flagged me, but anyways, uh, Belly soundtrack. Um, 
This is a movie that's kind of hit and miss with a lot of people. Uh, I, I don't really think it's the greatest film in the world. Um, but it's okay. You know, it feels like a music video because, uh, um, what's his face directed this movie? Um, I'm completely blanking on his name right now. I'm sure people are screaming at the, the computer right now, but, uh, um, Hype Williams directed this. That's right. Uh, I don't even, oh, there it says in the corner. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, if you know who Hype Williams is, he was like a very prolific hip hop, you know, a music video director and that movie kind of reminds me of one big long music video for some reason moving all the way down to here and we've got the bones soundtrack um this is actually oddly enough i don't own this movie in my collection isn't that strange i used to have it on vhs back in the day and uh i just never picked up i never upgraded so it's really strange i don't own that so i'm gonna get down on my knees here on my knees um Boys in the Hood, classic, classic film. Probably one of one movie that makes me ball every time I watch it. It's so fucking sad. I, I'm mad enough to admit that. This shit is sad, man. The theme song by Stanley Clark on here, Black on Black Crime, is so amazing. It's such a powerful theme song. Uh, How to Survive in South Central by Ice Cube, um, just amazing. Not really the greatest soundtrack in the world, but it's got some good stuff on there. Um, fucking Booty Call, <laughs> Booty Call. Um, I always remember the, the, the short dog song on here. Yeah, I can't even remember the fucker that didn't care one was on here. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. Call me with little Kim. Dirty shit. Uh, Brick Records, uh, 10 years a decade of independence. Uh, this has got some good stuff on here, if you can see that. A little uh, dope artist. Double disc. That's some good stuff right there. Really, really good stuff. Um, Boom Bat for the Netherlands. This was like an oddball one I found years ago. Um, this is two, 2002. I think I found this like in a pawn shop in Vancouver or something like that. It was so strange. I'd never really heard of it before. But uh, no, the very first um, track that's on here is done by the producer for the Cunning Linguist. Um, and there's some Cunning Linguist with Karma on there also. Fast Air, Cannibal Ox. Mac Lethal Superstition. Some cool, pretty cool stuff on there, actually. Uh, we got Bullworth, the Bullworth soundtrack. Man, remember this shit? Ghetto Superstar. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I never really thought the soundtrack was actually that good. I just, you know, have it because it was a soundtrack with hip hop on it. Um, caught Up. Actually, pretty cool flick. I haven't watched this one in years. I still own this one. Right on with Snoop and. Uh, corrupt that's actually pretty cool fuck sorry about the glare guys just it's where i'm standing in this room it's just really bad but yeah here's some actually not a bad soundtrack really it's actually not too bad it's one of my favorite soundtracks all the time cb4 love the movie love the soundtrack it's just fucking awesome black cop black cop black cop yeah love a lifeline on here by parental advisory song parental advisory so fucking dope and then, of course, the song's performed, um, well, by CB4, which is, like, Daddy-O. And I think a couple other guys are, do the, the raps for them. Um, yeah, good stuff, though. Awesome fucking movie. Chronic 2000, Suge Knight Presents, Still Smoking. Uh, yeah, it's not really that great, man. It's just a bunch of random gangster shit that, after the glory days and of uh, Death Row Records trying to capitalize, um... The Corruptor soundtrack. Uh, I was actually kind of like this movie. Um, what do we got on here, man? Oh yeah, the, uh, the Five Burrows, man. Karis One, Buckshot, Cameron, Keith Murray, Kill a Priest, Prodigy, Red Man, and Run and Vigilante. Who who sticks out in that group? Um, Spice One, Too Short, Be My Dirty Love. There's actually some pretty fucking Take It Off by Underground Kings. Some pretty cool stuff, man. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Creative Juices uh, Music Sampler Volume 1. This is really, really good. Um, all the Creative Juices artists on there. ID. Um, Malacard. Critical. Oh, probably really good stuff on there. Good stuff. Creative Juices Sampler Volume 2. Um, this one right here. And this is what's on the inside. 
Blackistan and casual. That's interesting. Pretty cool stuff, man. I remember getting that at Access Hip Hop in San Diego. Uh, the D&D &D Project. Um, see what's on there. Pretty cool stuff, man. A lot of good artists on here, too. Looking 45 King. DJ Premier. Yeah. Um, here's one right here that I was always, like, really disappointed by. Because I was, you know, me, I'm such a big Too Short fan. Love the Dangerous Crew. This album just did not deliver whatsoever. There's some good tracks on it, but, you know, from the, you know, the shit that they put out, and especially around this time, this album should have been so much better. But, you know, it, it has its moments, but... It's really not that great. Leave It Alone is probably the best song by T-Short on there. And we got Dangerous Minds. Look at that case. Whew, that is some ghetto ass shit right there. Holy fuck, what you doing, Moods? I even have replacement cases in my room too and I'm, I'm just so lazy. I'm like, I can't waste a replacement case on Dangerous Minds soundtrack. Oh, but it's got Gangsta's Paradise on it. Um, Having Thangs, big, big Mike, man. Fucking, you know, it's off his album too. One of his albums, but uh, so good, so good. Yeah, I remember the soundtrack, man, when it came out. Holy fuck. Everybody and their dog bumped the shit out of this, like, all summer long. It was just crazy. Crazy, man. Couldn't go anywhere without hearing that soundtrack. Death Row Records. Uh, singles Collection B-Sides, B Remixes, and Rarities. Uh, there's actually some pretty cool remixes and stuff that's actually on here. It's pretty loaded, man. They got, like, 10. And there's, like, 23 tracks. Um, yeah. A lot of long remixes and stuff. Kind of cool, though. Not, not too bad. I got that for, like, uber cheap, too. Um, Death Row Records, 15 Years on the Row. Of course, this is just really the best of. That's what you're going to get. There's a shit ton of tracks on here. Third disc is a DVD. 24 fucking music videos. That's that's pretty impressive that they put all those on there. Two Gangsta for Radio. Gia. Uh, not really the greatest. You know, this is post... Uh, you know, good death row days, so you know what you're going to get with that shit. It is what it is. Defenders of the Underworld uh, from Bad Lax Records. And Bad Lax was really, really fucking strong. Um, look at the... Fucking Psycho Realm on there, man. That's crazy. Dilated Peoples, Pep Love, Arsonist, Dell, Sundubi, AC Low. Man, they used to fucking put out great compilations. Evidence, Defari, man, Buck 50. <laughs> That's some good shit, man. Really, really good stuff. Early, early 2000s when Soul and Members was the shit. Uh, Def Jam, um, Def Jamaica, Def Jam, basically mashups with uh, reggae artists and hip hop artists. <laughs> the, the Anything Goes song in here, CNN, Wayne Wonder. I always like that track, man. I'm a big fan of like reggae, like this type of stuff. So having a mashup was actually kind of cool for me. I always enjoyed it, man. It's not for everybody, but it's kind of cool. Uh, Def Jux Volume 3. I never picked up Volume 1 and Volume 2 for some reason. I don't know why I never grabbed them. I just forgot about them and then they went out of print. And yeah, so this is what you got on here. All your typical uh, Def Jux artists. If you're not a fan, you're not a fan. But I am. Love me some Aesop Rock. Rob Sonic and stuff. Perceptionist. Mr. Liv. Good stuff. Fourth Pyramid was on there. I believe Fourth Pit Pyramid's actually Canadian. If I'm not mistaken, I think he is Canadian. Uh, Def Jux Volume 4. I remember this one not being very good, actually. Being very disappointed with this. Uh, there were some good songs in here, but... Yak Balls. That's the worst hip-hop name ever besides Joey Badass. I'm sure there's probably worse ones, but... I don't know. Uh, what do we got here? Digi Craigs Presents Compilation Volume 1. Um, I used to be like a really big supporter of of Digicrates until they totally fucked me over on a couple orders of mine. Like, those guys just scam artists, but uh, yeah, Rock Marciano, you got Hush, Sky Zoo on here, Strang Strangers, all that good Digicrate stuff. Yeah, I have a lot of Digicrate stuff, kind of a shame. This is pretty cool, man. Tribute to Jen, June, whatever you want to pronounce it. Good uh, instrumentals and stuff. It's really good. Really good stuff. It's another one of the order uh, CDs I got from that debauched second spin order. Uh, Dangerous Grounds. Of course, this is this is the album. You know, the CD and the... Or they just didn't send me the back for it. So that's fucking annoying when it sits on the shelf because it just has this plain case. Really lame. Uh, again, not the greatest soundtrack to go along with a subpar film. There is some decent artists and stuff in here. It's cool to see KD make an appearance on a soundtrack. Pretty cool stuff. 
Don't be a menace to South Central or drinking while drinking your juice in the hood. Man, this is such a such a funny, you know, spoof. Um, Winter Wars, Renee. You know, you get that fucking little bud and zone funky sound song. It's like the most West Coast sounding song ever. It's pretty funny. Um, a lot of songs you'll see on other albums and stuff, but soundtrack, kind of cool. Uh, here's one that I've had a lot of people actually ask me about. Uh, Master P presents Down South Hustlers. Um, I know this one was out of print and goes for like really ridiculous money. I don't know why so many people are after this compilation. Maybe it's because they're No Limit Completists or something, but it's really not that great to be honest. Um, even in the heyday of No Limit Records, I didn't really think it was overly that, overly that great. There's some decent stuff on here. But it's not for everybody. I don't really think it's that great. But one of those big fat cases. Kind of cool. Uh, Essential Underground Hip Hop. Volume 1. What do we got on here? We got all this good stuff, don't we? Man, my arm is really killing me. This camera is fucking heavy as shit, man. So I'm getting a workout here. Yeah, that's what you got on there. Actually, some really good stuff on here, to be honest. Word Association 7L and Esoteric, man. It's fucking dope, man. So, yeah, good stuff. Uh, Essential Underground Hip Hop Volume 2. Uh, it's Double Disker. That's what's on there. Good stuff. Fucking arm is shaking, man. My arm is killing me. Essential Old School Hip Hop Volume 1. I don't know if they ever put out a volume two of this, but man, there's some like pretty good stuff on here. Like TJ Swan, man, like there's some like old, like we're talking true school. This isn't even, this shouldn't even be called old school. This is fucking true school hip hop, man. Like some of the stuff is like 80, 81 and shit like that. Like, damn, look at that shit, man. A little Starsky disco Dave and the force of the five MCs. That sounds like the awesomest film. <laughs> uh, yeah, good stuff right here, man. Really, really good stuff. Uh, Fat Beats Compilation Volume 1. So what we got on here. Executioners, Bumpy Nooks. You know, we got some really good stuff on here, man. Pace 1. Grand Pooba. Pooba's my boy. Karis 1, DJ Babu. And the Fat Beats. I think it's just an instrumental track. Fat Beats Compilation Volume 2. I think these are actually harder to find now. I think they're out of print. I'm not sure. I could be mistaken. I usually am wrong. But you know how it goes. I think someone's phoning me. But I don't give a fuck. Because I'm talking about Fat Beats. Yeah, pretty cool stuff, man. These are really cool compilations. Uh, that was Volume 2. And what do we got here? Fat Beats Volume 3. Yeah. Um... Anything with Big Daddy can on it gets my stamp of, stamp of approval. Pete Rock still smooth. Yeah, look at that shit, man. TITC, man. Wool man. MF Doom. Some good shit on there, man. Really, really good stuff. Here's a fucking hilarious soundtrack to a hilarious film. If you've never seen Fear the Black Hat, do yourself a favor and check this out, man. It's fucking funny as hell. I mean, obviously a play on Fear of a Black Planet. But this shit is funny as hell, and all these songs are recorded. Like, this guy produced, I believe, and rapped and wrote these songs himself. And they're obviously just, uh, you know, spoofs of, you know, Ice Froggy Frog, like Snoop Doggy Dog and stuff, and Gorillas in the Mitts, <laughs> like Booty Juice. Fuck, man, this shit is funny as hell, man. Over those beats and just those classic beats, and oh, such a good spoof, man. It's great, great comedy. Uh, the Free Design. Uh, this is really interesting, actually. The other day I popped this in. I was listening to it again, and it's pretty cool, man. Got some Mad Lib, Peanut Butter Wolf, Sharp Shooters. It's like a really weird kind of blend of, like, instrumentals. And, yeah, I don't know, man. Good stuff, man. Really interesting. Never seen anyone talk about that one before. Uh, game Over, which I believe had something to do with, like, video games. or I don't even remember the whole deal with this thing, man. Maybe it didn't. Super Brooklyn... Look at some of these artists on here, man. Eminem, J Black, and Master Ace. It's fucking spreaded. I don't remember this very well. Godfather, Coco Brothers, all over here, man. I don't really remember this. I'm gonna have to check this out another time. Shit. Shit. Too many albums, man. Uh, gang related. Tupac. Yeah, the soundtrack. 
Uh, I remember in this game, oh man, this was, people were banging the shit out of this. Some good songs on here, man. I always remember the song, um, staring through my rear view. Tupac and the Outlaws, that was good shit, man. But yeah, you know, Death Row artists and stuff, of course, because Death Row did the soundtrack for this, so you know what you're going to get with that one. With James Belushi. Good stuff. I actually like that movie. Uh, Gridlocked with Tim Roth. Of course, the amazing Tim Roth. And Tupac. Um, Wanted Dead or Alive. Nate Dog. Anything solo Nate Dog is fucking amazing. Yeah, Death Row did the soundtrack for this again. Pretty cool. And then what do we got? We got uh, Helpless Dreamer, Mellow Music Group compilation. Came in this thin case. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Odyssey. Haslow, man. I love me some Haslow. Haslow's fucking dope. Good shit. Helpless Dreamer. Into some Hyro stuff here. Hyro Volume 1, the old Chucks. This is really good stuff, man. They recorded a lot of, a lot of this stuff like on tapes and shit. It was really good. It's really grimy and shitty to listen to. It's fucking awesome. Souls of Mischief, of course, everyone representing Hyro. Man, you know how much I love my Hyro stuff. Yeah. I have a lot of Hyro stuff around the house. But yeah, you can never go wrong with these. Uh Volume 2. I wish I had kept putting these out, man, back in the day. I'm sure they have a lot of basement tapes and stuff that they just never never put out, man. But yeah, good stuff. Uh, Hyrule Imperium presents the building, compilation of their artists. Hieroglyphics, Casual, Tajay, Encore, OPO, stuff like that. Um, you know, these were okay. You know, some of them were kind of hit and miss. Like, that one was not bad. Actually, I don't really think that one was that great. The Corner, this one's pretty cool. Um, I believe there's some good songs on here. They always had, like, some remixes of their tracks and tried to introduce, like, some new artists and things like that, which is kind of cool. So that one had videos on it. Interesting. And then we got Overtime, Hieroglyphics. Some good stuff. A lot of remixes. Cyberpunks. Yeah. Um, how to be a player soundtrack. <laughs> baby, baby. Um... I always remember this song. I got I gotta know by playing Fox Brown for some reason. Hard to get revisited. Rick James and Richie Rich. Yeah, not everyone's shit, man. Never seen before EPMD. There's some good stuff on here, man. Street to street jail felony. Oh yeah, man. It's a cold day. Too short and George Clinton makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh Higher Learning, not a great soundtrack, but a fucking awesome film. Love Higher by Ice Cube, it's fucking awesome. Mr. Grimm, Situation Grimm is fantastic. Phobia is great by Outcast. You're the Boomerang by Rage is awesome. But the rest of the stuff is not really my shit, um, to be honest. Ask of You by Raphael Sadiq. I actually like Raphael Sadiq and Tony and Tony Tony, they're pretty cool. I can handle it. Uh, yeah, great soundtrack to an awesome, funny ass film. I remember seeing this film in the, in the theater and thinking to myself, like, soundtrack's just awesome. Had to pick it up. And yeah, man, man, my my shit on here, man, is the rap world. Large Professor and Pete Rock, that is the shizzle. That song's so good, man. Yeah, it's got some really weird stuff on here, man. Like, you go from, like, Artifacts, the Ultimate, um, you know, to, like, Scarface and Face Mob with Skrilla. It's so fucking crazy. Karis One, High School Rock, I love that track, man. Really dope stuff. Deal of Soul Club, you want it's really great. The, you know the funny thing on here? The Quad City DJs. <laughs> uh, Inspected Deck and You God, man. Semi automatic, full wrap metal jacket. That shit was off the hook, man. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. House Party, my boys, kid and play. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get with that shit right there. Some fun stuff. Fun stuff. Uh, I got the hookup. Um,. I do not remember this movie one bit. I do not remember it. If I did see it, I, I think I fucking hated it, to be honest. But <laughs> uh, remember these old um, cases? The No Limit used to put out these plastic ones. Fuck, they're durable, man. Pretty good stuff. I don't know why these things never caught on. Maybe they're probably too expensive to produce. Impulsive, revolution, jazz rework. This is good stuff, man. I'll give you an idea of what it is. Like John Coltrane and stuff like... It's kind of like mashups, like Profuse 73 and stuff. Like, if you want, you can pause that and check out the artist. But Impulsive, I'm just trying to get through this last few that I have lined up till the second part. I'm about it. Um, soundtrack. Yeah, I didn't really care for this either. I mean, actually, I, honestly, I think I did like the movie back in the day. I can't even quite remember. But 
I don't know, the soundtrack, it is what it is. All that old No Limit shit. In the beginning, there was rap. Compilation, man, of newer artists doing covers of old school songs. Yeah, Fuck the Police by Bone Thugs and Harmony. Money Dollar, dollar Bill, yo. Done by Coolio. Isn't that crazy? Coolio. Uh, the Jerky Boys. <laughs> Not like a full hip hop soundtrack or anything, but it's got some. Uh, Coolio and the 40 Thieves, Dial a Jam. Babe, baby, baby. Yeah, that shit's funny, man. I love that movie. Juice, fucking love the soundtrack, man. It's got Uptown Anthem by um, Naughty by Nature. Of course, Juice, Know the Ledge, performed by Eric B. and Rakim. The list goes on, so you want to be a gangster and all that shit. Smoke any motherfucker, don't ever trip. I love the beginning of that song. is so dope by Too Short. Um, Yeah, good stuff, man. Juice. Judgment Night soundtrack. I always thought this was one of the coolest soundtracks to mash up with these rock bands and, and hip-hop artists. Helmet, House of Pain, you know, stuff like that. Teenage Fan Club, Dale of Soul. Really, really good stuff. Faith No More and Booyah Tribe. So cool. Onyx and Biohazard, Slayer and Ice-T, Dinosaur Jr. and Dell, fucking awesome, Pearl Jam and Cypress Hill, Therapy and Fatal, fuck, man, so good. Uh, Kicking the Flava, this was actually really, this was a good sound, or a good compilation. Day In Day Out Remix, Band by Dream Warriors, fucking awesome. Boogie Monsters, Rust Development. Got some really good stuff on here, man, some pretty good stuff. The Law House Experiment Volume 1. There never was a Volume 2, to my knowledge. This was not that good. This was actually pretty shitty, though. Oh, a lot of West Coast stuff, which is not really good stuff, man. Like, even Cube Song on here wasn't that great. Yeah. Very, very forgettable. Louder Than uh, louder than Ever, Volume 1. Loud compilation. Uh, you know what you're getting on here? A bunch of loud artists. Good shit, man. It's bigger than hip hop. They call the song "Hip." It's bigger than hip hop on here. It's crazy. Uh, Lyris Lounge Volume One. Absolutely fucking awesome. Love it. Q-tip Body Rock Man. Most F and Q-tip Tash. So good. OC Ross Cost Action Guaranteed. So good. Sorry about the glare. Lord have mercy and DV alias Christ. Holy water is fucking dope. Zach De La Roca, Karis One. Lost Emperor, CIA. That's the shit. Fucking dope. Whatever happened to Zach De La Roca's solo album? Lyris Lounge Volume 2. Not as good, but, you know, still has its moments. Q tip and words. Make it blends. It's okay. Eric Sermon and Sly Scott. Whatever happened to Sly Scott, man? I thought he was supposed to be like Eric Sermon's protege. Guy never really blew up or did nothing. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Lyris Lounge, West Coast. And this is another one from that debauched order. Second spin order. I'm missing the back of this. There's a CD and here's what's on. Nope, I'm lying. That's not what's on here. But yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere in there. But it, there's some pretty cool stuff. It's just basically the West Coast version of Lyris Lounge. Uh, I remember like Ross Coss and things being on there. But it kind of fits on the East Coast one too. Uh, this is pretty cool, man. Kenny Diaz presents Lost Episodes. Um... Best New York Underground Hip Hop 95 to 99. This is fucking cool, man. If you can find this, get your hands on this, man. It's very, it's very obscure, it seems like. I've never seen anyone chill this up before. So if you want to pause that and check out what's, what it has to offer, check it out. Godfather Dawn. I mean, that's enough to buy it right there, right? Is it not? And the last one up for this shelf, which is perfect because it's almost at 30 minutes. Loud Rocks. Again, another mashup of... Artist man, System of a Down, Wu Tang, Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray, <laughs> The Alcoholic, Static X, Dead Prez, Endo and Exhibit. I always like Los Angeles Times, that was a good one. Everlast, Mob Deep, Morella, blah blah blah. The list goes on. Never gonna get with that, but Loud Rocks compilation, I like it so. So we are gonna continue along from there. We got like rest of this, and then there's a bunch more down there. So I'm gonna split that into two. And uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it for episode 30 here on the uh, Shelf by Shelf series. So I will check you guys next time with uh, the second half of um, the compilations and soundtracks. Peace out, homies.